How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. Today we have a very cool, very interesting video. You guys know I'm all into learning new things, programming and technology and you guys are as well. You keep telling me about all the cool new things you're making on the Discord server. But today I have something that is for literally everyone because Elegu has sent me over their robot car kit. So this thing will teach you how to program and we have it right here. I checked it out on Amazon. It looks really cool, but on purpose, I haven't opened it up. As you can see here, I haven't done anything with it. So we are going to check this out together and see how simple it really is to get into programming. So I actually own a few things from Elegu already. I own two of their Raspberry Pi touchscreen displays. So when they contacted me, I knew straight away that I was dealing with a pretty damn cool company. So here it is. This is what it comes in. Very, very well packaged. I have lost my handy dandy scalpel. Oh, I wonder if it's on the bed again and I'm going to sit on it. Also, please let me know what you guys think of this kind of new style of videos because it requires me to do a little bit more editing, but I think it might just look a little bit more fun. Also, I finally started adding background music. A lot of you were asking for background music. It's finally here. So let me know what you think of that. This is what we are going to be making. It's full of a bunch of different sensors and overall, this thing is super high tech. So of course you've got your paperwork, the assembly tutorial, which I never follow tutorials, but I will need to follow this one. Everything is packaged beautifully in these tiny little boxes. Here we have everything. And then in the bottom, we have a little bit more. This thing, once again, as I said, consists of a bunch of different sensors. We've got line tracking, obstacle avoidance, IR remote, an app for iOS and Android. Oh, ooh, there's wood in here. Oh, so these are all the like little bits and pieces. So you've got your cable for programming it, your USB cable. You've got your remote control right here. Then you've got the motors. And of course you have your wheels. So we have a screw pack of six pieces, screwdriver three pieces, insulation tape one piece, ultrasonic sensor. So you have an ultrasonic sensor. If you guys have ever had a DJI drone, DJI drones have ultrasonic sensors. That's how cool this is. You've got a servo fasted plate, a cable pack, a dead plate, and a cell box. I'm beginning to have doubts as to whether I'm going to be able to put this thing together. And then in the last one here, we've got an Uno, which I guess is the Arduino Uno. We have the L298N, which I'm not sure what is, a Bluetooth module, an IO expansion board, a line tracking module, and an ultrasonic sensor module. Line tracking module, I'm going to guess, no? Does this look familiar? Does this look familiar? Yes, it does, because that is what is at the bottom of the DJI Mavic Pro. Let us begin putting this together to no offense whatsoever to Elegoo. I'm not gonna use the screwdriver provided. I'm going to flex my iFixit kit. Here we have an iFixit kit. Just before we begin, I wanna say something pretty big happened yesterday that I think is pretty big. It might not be pretty big according to you guys, but Unraid has us on their Twitter right above LTT. So I, I find that amazing. It just makes me smile so much. So that's a pretty big deal to me because I absolutely love Unraid. And when somebody that makes the hard work that you use on a daily basis notices you, it just means so much to me. Here we go. So let's open up the assembly tutorial. Remove the protective film before assembly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try record this. Oh. Don't say anything. Okay, we've got it peeled. Let me say, I think this might genuinely just be the hardest part of the build. Take out one, two, and three from bag with label four motor. Okay, were these labeled? Four motor, haha, -ha, we have them. I'm running out of room in this room. Okay, so it seems that we just need to grab ourselves our motors, grab ourselves one of these metal blocks and put them, yep, yeah, right there. Okay, cool. And screw in a longer screw like this. So I'm gonna do this for all four motors and I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, so I have all four motors done and I did actually use the Elegoo screwdrivers just because, you know, they already have the tips that we need. And we mount our motors to it like in the picture. So we grab our motors, all you do, is you screw these screws into these holes and they go into the metal brackets that you have just inserted. So I'm gonna do that and once again, I will be right back to you guys. Okay, so as you all see, we have them all mounted now, just like this on the acrylic. And now we need to grab our Uno bag and the four Uno bag. So I have the four Uno bag right here. Now this needs to be mounted in the very center. So again, I'll be right back to you guys once I have that done. Okay, I've put on a hat because my hair kept going into my eyes, but here we have it. 
As you can see, the screws are mounted from the top to the bottom and held in by washers. So now moving on to the next thing that we need to do, we need to plug in all the motors. And of course I mounted this the wrong way around. Okay, now that we have it mounted the correct way around, let's plug in all the motors. And that is very, very simple. All you do is you quite literally just plug them in to the motor controller board right here. This is what it looks like. Moving on to the next step, we grab our line tracker module, which seems to be this one. Okay, everyone, I have it mounted. So this was actually pretty simple. You take your standoffs, you stick it through. The line sensing module is right here. And then you just put four screws through it. All I needed to do was take a look at the picture because yes, everything is outlined in pretty damn cool, very simple pictures. So I've now moved on to the second acrylic board and I have mounted the Arduino. Also, the Arduino is only mounted with three screws. So in case you guys ever are doing this with me, yeah, it's only three. So I've just placed the expansion board onto the Arduino. And once I put this on, it seems we have completed our little Arduino tower. So there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. We have the Arduino at the bottom, our expansion board, and then this little module right here. So I've just mounted the battery pack right here. And all you do with the battery pack is you just plug it in to your expansion board right here. And don't worry, it's not actually on until you flick the switch right here on the side. So plugging this in doesn't make it live. So I've just mounted the ultrasonic sensors to their boards. And this is the first time I've had to bust out the iFixit toolkit because these screws were just so tiny. I felt so much more comfortable holding this. Here it is ultrasonic sensors. So now I've mounted the little Perspex. This is how it's supposed to look with the cable coming out right here and the longer end being right here. So now everything gets mounted onto this. The cable comes out the bottom and then gets routed in through this hole right here and then gets connected straight to the controller board right onto these three pins here. So the great news is we're ready to start connecting everything together using these cables. So I'm going to grab them right away. So first we need a four pin cable from the back of the ultrasonic sensor into the expansion board right here where it says sensor. They're all labeled so you should be able to find them pretty easily. So now I need to get this on top of that using standoffs. So I've got it mounted all together as you can see here with the big hefty metal standoffs and now I'm guessing it's just time to plug everything in. We get our one two piece cable which is this one right here and we plug it in from the power right here at the very top into the two pin at the bottom right here. Now this might be slightly hard to do with the top on so this may have been a better thing to do with the top off to be honest. I've got it in so that goes in right there into the power and then we grab the next cable which should be six cable right here and that goes into, well, the only six pin one in here. So the very tippity top and then into the bottom once again. And now the very last cable goes into the five pin right here. And then that goes to the very, very bottom to that controller board at the very bottom right here. So we need to route that over to there through these holes. The bottom is now connected. So that's everything connected. We're pretty much almost done. Now we just need to mount the wheels. Okay, I've got the wheels on. I just released today's video. So apparently they've already uploaded a program onto this to make it work. So I think all we need to do is flick the switch to on. Everything just lights up. I heard something move. <gasps> We have succeeded. It seems I have back and forth wired wrong. Well, that's because I'm a talented person. Okay. So guys, we've got it all built. As you can see here, I played around with it. Uh, my dog wasn't very happy with it. <laughs> But apart from my dog, everyone loved it. And of course, this thing is fully programmed when it arrives to you, but that doesn't mean you don't get to program it. Of course, there's an Arduino Uno on it. So if you want to play around with that, you get the cable to play around with this completely. There's also a simple programming app in the mobile phone app, because let's not forget this thing runs Bluetooth. And of course, I was playing around with that after I fixed up the direction, because of course I messed that up, because if there's something that you can mess up, I'll find it. So after I fixed up the direction this thing was supposed to be going, I connected it straight up to the mobile phone app and in the mobile phone app you have a few pretty cool features of course 
course, you have the line following feature, which comes default on the remote control as well. And of course, with that, you also get the controller itself. Yes, you can control this just straight with your mobile phone, just with your thumb by rotating your thumb and boom, you can control it pretty damn cool. Also, there's less latency on that than there is with the remote. With that, you also get to use the ultrasonic sensor because once you turn that on, the ultrasonic sensor will start rotating every time it notices an object and going around it. Here's a cool little clip of that. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cool. Oh. <laughs> it's like a Roomba getting lost in the, in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, is this a great little way to start yourself on programming and building robots? Absolutely. Can you recycle this into another project after you're done with it? abso freaking lootly You can take this apart, you have a Bluetooth module, you have an ultrasonic module, you've got an Arduino Uno, you've got motors, you've got everything that you would ever need, including a battery, that if you ever wanted to change this into something else, then you totally could, which is why it's so cool. You have full creative freedom with this. You can program it into whatever you like, and this is such a great cool little way of learning programming. All these motors, all these sensors, everything is in this little package right here, and it's such a cool way to start yourself off. I'm super happy right now. It works so incredibly well, and I think it's a great way to start yourself, and not only children. If you want to start off on programming, this has all the sensors you will ever need to play around with. And that Arduino Uno should be pretty damn cool to program straight with your computer. So you have full creative freedom, and if if you guys are thinking of starting off, well, I would definitely be able to recommend this pretty damn easily. And if you guys do get this, please let me know what you did with it, or if you already have an Arduino Uno and have been playing around with it, or have done some programming on it in the past, let me know what projects you've built. Because I love hearing back from you guys. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys want to get notified about future content, make sure to join the club. We have Discord down in the description below. And we also have a Reddit where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes. If you guys want to get notified about future content, I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.